Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Greg Crawford. I am the editor of Tab Forum. I'm joined today by Mark LaPere, Chairman and CEO of Vox Pop Investing. Mark, thank you for joining us again. Hello again, Greg. We are going to continue our discussion on innovations, and this is part of Tab Forum's new Spotlight series on innovations in trading and technology. So our part one session, we talked about innovation broadly, and Mark, you talked about kind of the gulf that existed between uh, the marketing spend and the company valuation, and and then we were also talking about the changing sort of paradigm of marketing push, where companies would put out marks, you know, if you build it, they will come uh, to more of a consumer pull. And I wondered if you might pick up from that string and, and explain where you guys in, at Vox Pop have been able to figure that out and work toward bridging that gap. Sure, the um, investor needs to stay ahead of the consumer. And with this change to consumer pull that you mentioned, the traditionally used now, relatively traditionally used areas of expert networks and channel checks are obviously an attempt to try and do that. Mm. Our contention is that the consumer has changed to a point where they can no longer keep pace, in essence. And what is required is a direct line from the consumer straight to the ears of the investor. Okay, so how have you been able to innovate a solution to that problem? We have identified a method of finding out not just any consumer, but obviously a very particular mm. consumer that we call the predictive consumer. Um, it's a proprietary methodology, a, a set of algorithms to help us do this. Okay. Um, I think this graphic will actually help, help explain it. Um, they represent typically about 15 to 20% of the population. So that's that first small lozenge that you can see there. Okay. And you can see that they sit inside the mainstream and they are powerful for two reasons. One is they influence their friends, family, and colleagues as to what to buy in areas of their expertise. It could be beauty, mm -hmm. technology, fashion, whatever it may be. But they can also predict what those same family, friends, and colleagues will go on to purchase. So they're powerful because they both influence and predict what the mainstream will, will actually buy. Right, okay. So you've identified the consumer. Yep. Now how then do you take that bit of information and translate that into something that's valuable and useful for an investment manager or, or an investor? The consumer is buying brands, right. but the investor is buying a company. So that's the bridge that we talked about okay. at, at, at the outset. And what we do is we collect momentum data. So just like in politics, which way is the purchasing power going? Which way is it moving? We collect that at the brand level, and then we integrate it with public company data to create a score that we call the growth factor, which is what the investor can use. Okay. And have you got some, um, have you done any sort of backtracking or historical tracking of, tra are you able to show us that this in fact trend work actually, you know, works, it makes sense? And Abs <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> We've spent a lot of time <laughs> and the last, uh, a lot of money over right. the last four years in actually doing this. The first couple was identifying the predictive, sure. the predictive customer and the last three really have been proving that it works. We've got uh, a lot of evidence now at the micro level, i.e. individual names and stock ideas, but we've also got good evidence at the macro level. There's another graphic here which I think illustrates the point. We've identified 12 bellwether sectors from the 90 consumer sectors that we're tracking every quarter. Mm -hmm. And you can see here the aggregate of the 12 has been right in mapping the GDP of the US every single time that we've done it. We're obviously waiting for the next quarter results right. at the moment, but over that two and a half year period. So obviously we're not right 100% of the time, but currently we're, we've got a pretty good batting average. Great, that's tremendously interesting. And as, as you say, there's, there's been this need in, on Wall Street for new research, new ideas. So I appreciate your spending some time with us today and, and talking about this great uh, innovative research that you guys are doing at Vox Pop Investing again. My name is Greg Crawford with Tab Forum. I'm Mark LaPere, CEO and Chairman of Vox Pop Investing, part of our Spotlight series on innovations in trading and technology. Mark, thank you so much and good luck. Thanks very much, Greg.